This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 4. The Tribune is reporting a former Chicago alderman secretly recorded Michael Madigan as part of a wide ranging and ongoing corruption investigation. WGN's Julian Cruz is live in our newsroom with details on what the former House Speaker may have said. Julian? Dina, stunning developments. The Chicago Tribune reporting ex Chicago alderman Danny Solis secretly recorded former Illinois House Speaker Michael Madigan on a number of occasions dating back years. Solis believed to be cooperating with the feds on a wide-ranging corruption probe. The reality of it is that any time he's been with Danny Solis in the last period of, say, six years may have been something subject to being taped. Unsettling news for Michael Madigan, fellow Democrat and trusted confidant Danny Solis at the time a 25th Ward Chicago alderman reportedly wearing a wire for the feds, making multiple audio and video recordings of Madigan, according to the Tribune. WGN News political analyst Paul Lisnick says all indications are Solis is looking for a plea deal. Solis has been given some significant breaks uh, for the crimes he is alleged to have done. And people wonder, why did he get such a good break? And now we know. We're going to have a series of speakers. The recordings dating all the way back to 2016, the year Madigan led the Illinois delegation to Philadelphia for the Democratic National Convention. The political power broker ruling the Illinois Illinois House with an iron fist for a record 36 years. Meeting with Solis, according to the Trib, some of the recordings said to involve a possible real estate deal in Chinatown where an unidentified businessman's request for a zoning change came with strings attached. Alderman Danny Solis at that time made it clear to him that if he were to send his legal business to Speaker Madigan uh, and Madigan's law firm, that he would get whatever it is that he needed. The apparent quid pro quo transaction never executed, but Madigan, if the reports are true, still facing possible criminal exposure, according to legal experts. Just because the Chinatown deal wasn't consummated doesn't mean that a crime wasn't committed. Ed Burke got in trouble for the same thing, didn't he? Ed Burke also had a property tax law firm. Always problematic. It's always bothered a lot of people. And you may remember Solis said to have worn a wire on Ed Burke, the powerful Chicago alderman indicted on federal corruption charges back in April. Burke denying any wrongdoing. We should also point out that Michael Madigan has not been charged with any criminal wrongdoing. Madigan's lawyers declining a request for comment. In the newsroom, Julian Cruz, WGN News.